This is Brent with Likens Motorsports. Uh, this morning I am checking rod bearing clearances on a 363 cubic inch small block Ford uh, using a SCAT uh, steel crankshaft and these Molle pistons and some SCAT I-beam rods. Rod bearings are coated Clevite, pretty nice pieces. Um, most people probably haven't seen this process done and um, I just wanted to outline uh, the most precise way of checking rod bearing clearances. You've, you've heard probably people using plastic gauge, um, which is just a, um, a piece of string plastic that is compressed and then you compare it to a picture to try and, and decipher what your bearing clearances are. It's very inconsistent. I wouldn't trust it. I don't use it. I never have. Uh, the most accurate way of doing it is to use um, a, a micrometer to measure the outside of the rod journal and a quality one like a, a Sterrett or a Brown and Sharp or, or something like that. Um, and then use a bore micrometer or an inside mic, you may have heard them called, to check the, uh, the inside of the, of the rod journal the bore housing. So we're gonna do that real quick. Um, I'm right in the middle of the process and um, just wanted to show you how to do it. So um, need to put our, everything's been washed and cleaned, so we're good there. Um, need to put the bearing inserts and the rods. You will notice on some high performance uh, setups that the bearing is marked lower and upper, and that's very important. Um, so you wanna you wanna match the bearing half up to the portion that you're working with. We're gonna put the upper um, in the upper end of the rod, and we're gonna put the lower in in the cap side. We're gonna put the two pieces together. I'm gonna get my rod bolts going. And I'm gonna torque this up and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so we've got our rod bolts torqued. Uh, these torque at about 65 pound feet. They are 7 16 um, rod bolt, 1.4 inches in length. I have already measured um, the crank journal and um, you know that, that's something that I probably can't show you how to do on a video it takes a little bit of practice to, to get a feel for it but I can show you that um, the journal size is uh, 2.122 and then 5 10 thousandths I hope you can see that um, on the camera so 2.1225 is our, our journal diameter. I'm gonna put this in uh, my mic stand. And what I'm gonna do now is set my bore mic to it. Okay, so we measured the outside diameter of the journal and we are going to zero uh, the bore mic to it. Okay, that gives us, so whatever, um, whatever we measure now is going to be the difference between the journal OD and the bearing housing ID, okay? So I'm gonna put my bore mic in, and we are getting 2.1, about two thousandths on the money, oh, oh. 20. And you can also walk this down and get, you know, see if the journal has any taper to it or if, um, you know, if you see any issues that way. So that's the gist of it. And now when you hear someone say, I'm going to check my bearing clearances, um, then, then you know how that process is done. And, you know, it's the same procedure for 
Um, main bearings is the same procedure if you want to check your cam bearing clearances, which I do on some engines. And um, the again, procedure, measure the outside, zero your board mic to that, and then measure the difference for your clearance. All right. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, hope to have some more videos up. Um, maybe on some different engine building procedures along with the engine builds and the dyno videos that I have. So hopefully I can put some stuff up to, uh, to help you guys out. All right. Y'all have a good evening.